Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Steven Kinchelik, and in this video I'll be going over the brand new print setup dialog that's just been released. Now there are many situations where you need to print certain reports or include certain columns or not show to certain columns. So the new print setup dialog helps you with that by allowing you to customize exactly what you want to see. And let me show you how it works. Okay, so I've got my budget open and ready to print, and all filled out. So I'm going to go up to File, Print Setup, and let me explain how this is all sort of laid out. Up at the top here, we've got our buttons as usual. We've got our Print, Print Preview, PDF. We have a Restore to Defaults button, which uh, comes in handy. We have our Page Setup, which is where you can set specifically uh, to go to Landscape or go on Legal Paper if you want to. And then you have your edit header and footer and your captions buttons. And there's other videos on how to use those. So I'm going to leave those alone for now. And now we come down here and we've split the print dialog into two tabs. We've got our print selection and print settings. Now the difference between the two is in print selection you're selecting what you want to print. What report. So up here you can select details, top sheet, um, if you want to include a fringe table, set table, groups table, you can select those just by clicking the check boxes. I'm going to hit restore to default to go back. And then down here you can, you know, suppress uh zero total accounts uh as you could before. That's all the same, um but it's still in this first window and select if you're doing a specific account range or account selection or just all the accounts. Now, what's new is over in this print settings tab. And what this allows you to do is, in the details report, it allows you to select what columns you want to see. Now, by default, there are uh, columns checked already. And those are sort of the standard report columns. But you can also add other columns, like original invariance, uh, your fourth unit column, your uh, fourth multiplier, uh, your fringes column, whatever you want. And then down here, you can select if you want those columns to be truncated or not. Now, uh, depending on how many columns you have in there, you may not be able to fit the information uh, you know, within your standard report size. So allowing them to truncate, it'll allow them to be clipped a little bit, uh, or sometimes you know, more than a little bit. But by checking the do not truncate box next to those columns that you've selected, you're saying, I want the full column width. Now, sometimes that may cause conflicts, and you know you may have to go to landscape. I'll show you what happens with that in just a second. But let me go ahead and restore all the defaults. And let me just select, let's say, original invariance. And I'm going to say, do not truncate that original inv invariance. Now, I can go ahead and click preview. And it's going to let me know, hey, this is too big to fit in portrait. So it has some options here. It can switch automatically. Uh, to reduce the font and try and fit it in portrait or you can switch to landscape you can preview how it is currently or just close this window and go back and make some changes I'm going to go ahead and have it automatically switch to landscape and it's able to fit without having to reduce the font so as you can see here we have the original and the variance columns in here um, and it sizes the column based on the maximum number in this column and it's printing fine so from here I can go ahead and print this go to PDF uh, go to specific page number or just close this window so I'm gonna go ahead and do that close the window and I'm gonna go ahead and restore my defaults again now you don't have to restore the defaults if I had made that selection of original invariance and do not truncate and close the window. When I go back into here, File, Print Setup, notice those selections are still checked. So it's going to save whatever settings you have. It doesn't matter what budget you have open. This is specific to the application, not to the budget. So um, when you go to Print Preview, um, it's going to have those same selections selected. So again, I can click on Preview, and it's going to have that. Uh, it's going to come up with a warning again because it, uh, when you go to these automatic settings, it's not saving these specific things like uh, font. If I reduce the font to fit it into portrait, it's going to go ahead and do that. And it fit it into portrait without truncating anything, but it had to reduce the font significantly to be able to do that. 
Uh, but this is just a temporary solution. So you can go ahead and print this out. And when you go back to the window, it's not the font isn't going to be permanently set at 6. It's just temporary to get this report um, out the way you want it. So hopefully that will give you more control over exactly what you want to see in your printed reports. Now is there a topic that you want covered in these tips and tricks? Or do you just want to send us your feedback? You can send that to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all new products and services. And check out the community page where there's ways to follow us on Twitter or friend us on Facebook or even subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching.